This spring, one of Kansas City's longest running fundraisers will mark its 24th year, and it's come a long way in bringing the community together. Tonight, we introduce you to Michael Linticum, the event director of AIDS Walk Kansas City, and this week's community profile. Kansas City is known for its compassion and generosity, with elaborate fundraisers taking place on the stage and on the streets. The man behind some of the city's top events is Michael Lintico. I work with a multitude of different non not for profits, uh, not only raising money for and with them, but also helping volunteer management, um, directing the actual events. Lintico sums up his role as a producer based on experience gained over the past 30 years in the field of politics, corporate America, and now nonprofits. He says it all started in 1976. I am honored by your nomination and I accept it. That year, the Republican Party hosted their convention in Kansas City at Kemper Arena. Linda Cum worked with the White House Advance Office, a job that would span two administrations. Very exciting for an 18-year-old uh, guy to get to see the behind the scenes and actually do something meaningful. That meaningful work continues today. Through the many events and causes, Linda Cum is perhaps best known for his steadfast work with Kansas City's AIDS Walk. Started 24 years ago, he's been involved for the past 19. As you remember, it was a terrible, uh, frightening time for, for many, many people, let alone the organizations and the loved ones that were helping those people that were living with um, AIDS at the time when it used to be a, a death sentence. Linda Cum says AIDS Walk helped focus the message, educate the public, and draw in funds from around the Kansas City community as a whole while breaking down barriers and stereotypes. Today, when he looks out on the crowd, he finds people from all walks of life. You see a wonderful cross-section of Kansas City. You you see uh, kids, you see um, senior citizens, you see moms and dads pushing buggies. Linda Gum is quick to share all credit for the events he produces with his team and the volunteers that step forward every year. He hopes those events continue to support the community long after he's gone. AIDS Walk takes place on Saturday, April 28th at Tice Park. All the money raised stays right here in Kansas City, supporting Hope Care Center, the Good Samaritan Project, Save Inc., and the Kansas City Free Health Clinic. For more information on sponsoring a team or volunteering, visit KSHB.com and look under Lifestyle.